In this video, we are going to create this animation in PowerPoint to reveal any text we want during our presentations with one click. Let's get started. Hello guys, welcome to idea number 3 in this video series. Before we get started, I wanted to say thank you for 12 subscribers. I really appreciate your support, guys. This is really meaningful and motivates me to deliver even more value in every single video. And in case you are not part of the community yet, consider subscribing and let's grow together. Okay, so let's get this done. As always, here we have our presentation. So let's get rid of this default content. And let's add a rectangle like this. Let's go to Align, Center, and Middle. And the next step will be to change the color and remove the outline of our shape. Now let's add a circle. Hold the Shift key for a perfect circle. OK, let's move it over here. Hold Shift once again and click on the rectangle. We are going to align these two shapes perfectly. OK, let's move on. Go to Insert, Icons, and look for an arrow or something similar. I like this one. Click on Insert, and let's make a couple adjustments. Select the arrow in the circle, and click on Align, Center, Align Middle. Now let's change the color. Let's make it white. Time to add some text. And change the font type. Let me adjust the size a little bit. And now go to Animations, Motion Paths, Lines. Change the direction to the left. Click on the red arrow, click on the red bubble, grab and drop to the desired position. Now copy and paste this text, move it to the middle. Click on the animation and change the direction to the right. Now we are going to move the endpoint once again. And now we need to copy this text one more time and move it to the lower position, like this. I think it's fine. So let's open the animation pane and let's select the arrow in the circle. Go to Add Animation, Lines, and let's move the endpoints for the two shapes to the desired positions. Now let's reorganize the animations a little bit. The second text is supposed to show up after the circle moves down, so let's place the animation for the circle right here. The start for the text animation will be with previews. And now let's move the animation assigned to the arrow like this. Now we need to add a spin animation, so click on the arrow, add animations, Emphasis, Spin. Go to Effect Options and let's modify the amount to half spin. Counterclockwise. Hit OK. Now let's move the animation over here. OK. Start after previews. I think we can move this animation a little bit. And this one like this. Okay, let's see. I think we can modify the start of the second text animation so it runs only after the arrow stops spinning, don't you think? Let me do it. And let's change the duration for the arrow spin to one second. 
Awesome, let's take a look. Much better. Okay, the next step will be to add a couple more animations, so the arrow and the circle move from the middle text to the lower text. So click on the circle and the arrow once again. Add animation, motion paths, lines. And now let's move the animations only, oops. Okay, let me select the animations. Okay, let's change the end position for each one. And let's reorganize the animation so they match the order we have here. Let me see. This is the third text box, so let's change the start to after previews. And we are still missing the spinning for the arrow, so click on it. Add animation, emphasis, spin. Let's go to effect options and change the amount to half spin. Hit OK. And change the duration to one second. Start with previews. Let's make sure we have the exact same order. Okay, yes, now we have the same order here and here. Okay, let's take a look. Yep, well done. Let's now send the text boxes to back. So let's select all of them. Right click, send to back. Okay, we are halfway through. Let's work with the background. So add a new slide. Delete the default content. I decided to use an illustration I found here. Of course you use your desired image. Okay, now let's copy the image and paste it here. Right click, send to back, and let's add some rectangles to hide our text boxes. So let's see. Once you have the rectangles in place, select all of them. Hit Ctrl X to cut and paste them on the second slide. Now click on um, the image, then click on the first rectangle, shape format, merge and click on intersect. Copy the resulting image and hit Ctrl Z to end on. Now go to the first slide and hit Ctrl V to paste and hide the text. Now do the same with the other two rectangles. Um, in case you are wondering, I use Ctrl Z in these cases to avoid having to look for the image and paste it again every time I want to make a new merge. Okay, so let's copy and paste the last rectangle. And now it's time to move the circle and the arrow to the front. So select everything. Right click, bring to the front. And now it's time to take a look at the result. Oh, 
I think I forgot to change the text for each text box, but you understand the idea, that's what matters. Let's at least uh, change the color of the circle to see how it looks like on, let's say, green. Okay, let's see. Yes, perfect! Okay, so that would do it for this video guys, as always, thank you for watching, don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell icon to get a notification whenever I submit a new video, take care, and see you next time!